This is lesson 62, sixth grade, and it is on writing mixed numbers as improper fractions. So, so far you know how to make an improper fraction into a mixed number. Do you remember how to do that? Mm -hmm. How do you do it? It's uh, been a while. You divide it, don't you? Yep, 23 divided by 6. 23 divided by 6. 6 will go into that three times. 19, 20, 20, 2, 2, 3, 5, 3, and 5, 6. Okay? Now, now you're going to learn how to make a mixed number into an improper fraction. <laughs> okay. So watch what I do. I'm going to put this 23, 6 so you know that that's the answer. And let's see if we get it. Okay? So, based on this 6, how much do we know each pie to be? How, how many slices does it have total? Six. Okay, so if I have three whole, how many slices do I have all together? Six. So let's draw three of them up here, and then this one's going to be the five, six. So if all of these have six, that would be six divided by four. No, 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 no. Multiply. No, no. Almost, almost. Because this is three full pies, and then this one is five, six. Oh, yeah. So, how many full pies do I have? How many pieces in it? Full six. pies? So, six plus six. That's 12. 13, 14, 18. So, six times three. Yeah. Right? So, Actually, I have 18 slices here, plus how many more? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So, I would say this is 23. And how much, how's it broken up? The six slices. See that? That's the illustrative way. There's an easier way, okay, that you can just do it quickly. All right, and watch what I do. You're going to take this mixed number, and what I want you to do is do this. Draw a little line that's curved going from here to here and put a multiplication mark on it. Okay, so what is 6 times 3? Uh, it's... 23, right? Now, what is 6 times 3? Huh? What is 6 times 3? 18. 18. Then you take your answer plus that. Uh, 19, 20, 20, 2, 2, 3. 23, and then you just write down whatever the, the number is. The denominator. Do you get how I did that? Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. Alright. Ready? Five and two thirds. Now let's do it the illustrative way first. So if I had five pies plus two thirds of a pie, one, two, how much are all these pies broken up into? Uh, three. Threes. And how much is filled up in each of them? Uh, what do you mean? All three. Just because I have five whole pies, right? Yeah. So. How do I find out how much is in all of this? There are uh, five of them. Oh, it's three times five, right? Very good. So this would be 15. Uh -huh. Five times three. 16, 17. So, and so how 17, 17 over three. Very good. So let's see if now we can do it, not the illustrative way, but the other way I taught you. Remember this? You multiply. Mm -hmm. What is 5 times 3? What? Oh, it's a... Uh, 15. Yeah. And then you take and do this one, a plus. 15 17. plus 2. 17 over 3. You're basically doing the same thing, but one shows it to you, and one you're just doing it. So I want you to write this method down on your paper. Okay? Okay. Right here, write this down. 2 thirds My legs are working. It's Got it? Yep. Okay, now let's do another one together and we're done. Ready? I want you to help me. They're telling me to write this and this as improper fractions, and then they want us to multiply the fractions. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do it the easy way. What do I do? 
you uh, multiply it by the... This like, times one, this. One times three. That's Which three. is three. And then what do I do with Plus these two? two, that's five. Okay, so what's this answer? Five thirds. Very good. Now let's do this one. That one's two times three, five is ten. Uh huh. Plus two is twelve. Very good. Over. Twelve over five. Now, I'm going to take these two numbers, five thirds times this. They're wanting me to multiply. And I like doing horizontal when you're multiplying. When you're adding okay. and subtracting, I like doing vertical. Multiplying, I like doing side to side. Okay? Because you're going to multiply this and you're going to multiply this. So what is 5 times 12? It's 60. And what is 3 times 5? Huh? 3 times 5, uh, 15. Okay? So that's our improper number, our answer. And how would I make it into a mixed number or a proper? Do you remember? You uh, divide it. Yeah, 60 divided by 15. Very good. And let's just try it. Let's try four. I think that actually works. Yep. Answer is going to be four. Okay. Final answer. Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. That is lesson 62.